DJ, DJ Erica. Erica. DJ Khaled dropped a new, DJ Khaled dropped his new song, okay? And it features Jay-Z and Nas. And uh, it's, a, it's called Sorry Not Sorry. And of course, the moment that you hear Jay-Z and Nas is doing a collaboration, everyone is like, oh, hell yes. Like, this shit is about to be bumping. This shit is about to be crazy. And then you add in the production of DJ Khaled. And you're thinking, oh, man, this got to be a higher record. It's got to be a higher record. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I watched the video and I listened to it. And I was very disappointed in the song. And I and I and, and people might come in here crying, you know, come to blow. You don't know, you don't know nothing. And, and, uh, and, uh, Cause y'all support Jay Z and Nas. This has nothing to do with it. It comes down to DJ Khaled Productions. Okay, um, I believe he should have gave a better beat, um, a better song arrangement uh, for Jay Z and Nas to be freestyling on. I feel like the song was too slow tempo for me. I didn't enjoy the beat to the t the song. Um, the uh, the arrangements for the chorus was a little um, awkward. You know what I mean? I I don't know. I just I just wish it was like a different chorus or something. It's just it just it just was a no for me. You know what I mean? I I I mean I I of course when Jay Z and and Nas bars and they together and and they in the collaboration, of course the bars is gonna be fire. It, that's that's just a fact. The bars is gonna be fire. That that's something that we all know. But when you have a beat that's not so hot or you have a hook that's not that's not hitting as hard, it messes up the entire arrangement of the song. And for me. I feel like it, it messed it up for me. Like, you know what I mean? And a lot of people probably watching this review of what I'm saying about the, uh, about the song and being like, uh-uh, because y'all sensitive because I'm talking about, like, Jay-Z and Nas. And immediately when you hear Jay-Z and Nas, you got to be like, oh, I uh, praise, but I don't praise nobody but God. But that's just how y'all act, right? But in the real world, I'm critiquing DJ Khaled. Y'all not critiquing Nas and Jay-Z. Clearly, Jay-Z knows what he's doing. He has, like, 25 Grammys. You know, Nas is Nas. You know what I'm saying? They know what they're doing, but the production on DJ Khaled's in, you know, it was a no for me. If you're going to put Jay-Z and Nas on an album, on a record together, the the production, the arrangements, the beat, it got to it gotta work. It got to hit. And I get it. It was more of a slow tempo. Maybe it'll grow on me. But this is my first, like, non-biased, like, uncensored thoughts with the first time I heard the song. Like, I put the video on DJZericPod.com so you guys can check it out. But I just feel like Nas bars was crazy. Jay-Z bars was crazy. The chorus wasn't doing much for me in the overall beat production. It just wasn't hitting. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this is a thing where you measure namesake against actual um, quality in production now jay-z and nas might have liked it the beat i don't know um maybe they got paid really good and they decided okay let's go ahead and do it and they're going to get some solid bars at least so they're not more concerned about what he's doing because dj Khaled's album but i just feel like that beat just didn't match and i kind of wish that he also gave more of a summertime banger hit with jay-z and nas i know that jay-z and nas are like 50 years old and they're older rappers and they're expecting some more mature more boom boom pat type of stuff but i feel like um we could have got something more up tempo from them you know what i mean i i don't i don't know you know y'all can watch the video the video was cool video was nice you know what i mean um but I just feel like the song was just a little awkward for me. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, y'all y'all tell me what y'all think about that. I seen a video. Cool video. But I feel like the song, it just wasn't hitting. Um, DJ Khaled also was supposed to have put out a song with Cardi B as well. And people was basically dragging that song. Basically saying, you know, that people be overhyping stuff because of the the um star power of the individual and not measuring the actual sound and talent and and just the production of the song overall and i feel like that's the biggest thing when it comes to our culture why the music industry has gone downhill is because we stop viewing and supporting music because it's really really good and you know giving our on honest unbiased opinion on the song whether it's really really good no matter who made a song you know what i'm saying so hmm 
I don't know. I don't know. I, I haven't heard the whole album. DJ Khaled just dropped the whole album. Um, between me hearing a snippet of Kari B's song and the Jay Z and Nas record, I don't know. I'm not. A, I'm not really looking forward to hearing the entire project. And that's just me. I don't know. Maybe he wanted to more darker song, but I'm used to like listening to Khaled. It's like yo, like it's waking you up. It's like. And that song didn't wake me up. It just was. It was. It was forget. It was. If if it if it was, not for Jay Z and Nas being on that track, it was very forgettable. And that's just what it is. And y'all could y'all could sit here and drag me in the comments all you want. But like I said, this is my podcast. This is my opinion. You can comment your opinions below. I love all your opinions. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. I seen people comment on the other video I did. And they were under there just going in on me. Oh, you're a blogger. Oh, you sit here. You talk about people. I know. And this is why I do it every day. Because I love doing it. I love talking. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know. You know, this makes me happy. I like to do this every day. You know what I'm saying? Um, my life is busy. But, you know, I'm always coming back to my podcast to talk about the stuff that, that's going on in the world. And um, having discussions and things of that nature about things that's going on. You know what I'm saying? Um, but... You know, being a podcaster and doing this work, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of energy, you know, to go through the list of topics and gossip and everything else that goes on. You know, it takes a lot of time, you know, and, I, you know, I love talking to you guys about it. 